So, what's up YouTube, Ronix with it, another tutorial, and in this tutorial, I want to show you guys how to color grade skin tones in just Photoshop, and what we are going to be using, we are going to be using the camera filter and the selective color option to do the color grading for this very, very image, and as you can see, I've already done the skin retouching and dodging and burning to this very image, so you can see uh, the before and after for this very image, and how I did uh, retouch it. I'm going to put the link for for you for all those who are interested in learning about how I do skin retouching. Then for those interested in uh, my dodging and burning, you can see the before and after. So you can learn how to do your dodging and burning to bring back the shape or dimension to your images. But that is not for today. So we're going to be doing the color grading in just Photoshop. So let's kick in and we start by creating a new stamp visible layer for all the processes we have done because if at all you don't if you don't create that stamp visible layer you're not going to be able to uh, go to the camera filter to do the color grading so we're going to, we are going to simply hit shift alternate ctrl e or shift alternate command e for mac uh, to create that stamp visible layer and we're just going to duplicate it to have a backup layer by hitting ctrl command j and after doing so, it has created a screenshot for all the processes we did for dodging and burning and frequency separation. So we're just going to come to filter, then come to the camera row filter. So here is where we're going to be doing the skin retouching, then the eye and teeth whitening, then we go back to Photoshop for more color grading. So I want you guys to pay close, close attention to the way we're going to be color grading this very image. So first of all, in the camera filter, we have what we call the calibration option, and it is usually down below the basic adjustments. So what I usually do for my images or when color grading, I prefer to uh, knock down the saturation of the blues just like that. So depending on the look you're going in for, you can see when you turn the saturation all the way down, you can see that it's also affecting uh, the dress of the model but the skin tones are really looking uh, nice but I think that is too much so just come and do a little bit just you're just going to go with around 18 so you can see the progress so far I just didn't want to desaturate the dress completely I'm going to do the same for the green primary and just knock it to around negative 12 then for a saturation of the reds, I'm just going to knock them down just to around negative 8. And you can see now the before and after so far and the progress for this very image. Then after doing that in the calibration option, you can as well come and do some little bit of hue to the blue, blue primary and you can take it towards the green side to around negative 4. Then after we have dealt with the calibration option, you're going to just move up to the HSL panel and do some more adjustments to this very image. And in order to do these adjustments, you're simply going to target uh, the colors in the skin tones of this very model. So we're going to first of all come to the luminous. And since we want to kind of uh, make the oranges really dark or slightly dark, we're just going to come to the orange side and we're just going to turn... So basically, luminance is more of uh, the lightness and darkness of a particular color. So if at all we turn the oranges up, you can see the oranges have been brightened. And when you turn it down, you can notice that the oranges in the image have been darkened. So just don't want to do too much of that. So I'm just going to go with around a negative 13. And after doing so, we're going to come to the saturation. And you're going to slightly desaturate on the oranges in this particular image. So you're just going to desaturate the oranges. Uh, just, I think, to negative 7. That can do. So don't mind if at all the image is really turning out to look a little desaturated. So we're going to come to uh, the reds too and also desaturate them slightly to negative 2. Then come under the hues and you're going to... Uh, add some kind of green tint to add uh, the oranges. So if at all I turn it up, you can see it makes uh, the oranges green and when we turn it down, it adds 
uh, reds to the oranges. So we just want to add a little bit of greens by turning it towards the green side just like that. And I think that looks nice. Then after doing so, we are also, we are also going to turn the reds towards the orange side just like that. So you can see the before and after for uh, this very image and it looks really nice and beautiful. So after doing so, let's do some little bit of eye and teeth whitening because this is going to add a given feel to uh, this particular portrait in Photoshop before you can do some further color grading in Photoshop itself. So let's just click on get the zoom tool and just click on the eyes to zoom in or you can use Control command plus to zoom into the eyes and for this you are going to be using the adjustment brush tool or you can simply press K on the keyboard that's the shortcut so simply hit the adjustment brush tool and in order to set it you have to uh, ensure that you know this so remember the white area of the eye usually has some kind of yellow color so in order to remove that yellow color from the eyes of uh, the models uh, we are just going to come to the opposite of yellow which is green so we're just going to be adding greens to the adjustment brush so let's come and just move this towards uh, the blue side rather of so the opposite of yellow is blue so we have to move towards the opposite of yellow which is blue to reduce on the yellows in the white area of the eye so we're just going to move this towards around negative 21 and since we have some kind of green colors in the white area in order to remove that we're just going to move towards the opposite of green which is the magenta side and we're just going to move it around negative uh, around 64 on the magenta end and since we want the eyes to pop you're going to uh, move the highlights to around a uh, four and the whites uh, to around three and now since we have color in the white area of the eye we're just going to come down to the saturation and just knock down the saturation just a little bit around negative uh, 66 and when you're done doing so just reduce on the size of you can either reduce on the size or decrease it by using the brackets on the keyboard and just start painting over only on the white area because when you paint over the skin just like this you're going to notice that it's going to I remove the color or saturation from that area of the skin so we just don't want that to happen to the images so only paint over only on the white area and uh, we are going to be done with this uh, in a bit and we are going to go straight into uh, Photoshop for more color grading of this very image so let me just paint over the teeth and when you're doing the teeth whitening I just paint each individual tooth at a time so I think we are done doing uh, the eyes and teeth whitening you can see the before and the after for this very image so just come and hit ok to commit the changes rather so in Photoshop like I said earlier on in this tutorial we're going to be using the selective color option to add that kind of beautiful feel to this particular portrait and in order to do that, we're going to come right down here and you're going to come to the selective color option. And under this, you're going to first of all add some kind of or darken the shadows or the blacks in this image. And in order to do this, just come and select the blacks and move the black slider under the blacks towards uh, the right hand side to add that kind of a dark feel. You can see the before and after. You have just darkened uh, or added that kind of feel towards the blacks of this image or you can even take it to around three and since i want to add that kind of blue feel or those kind of blue tones to the image i'm going to add some kind of uh, blues to the image by moving uh, the yellow slider towards the left the left hand side rather and you can see that the image is really looking nicer and uh, more beautiful and attractive you can see the before and after we have just gotten rid of those too much green color in this very image and after we have done so we're going to come under the reds and we're also going to do the same so i feel like the image still has uh, too much yellows 
I'm just going to come under the yellow slider under the reds and just knock it towards the negative side to reduce on the amount of yellows. But as I'm doing this, I'm noticing that the magentas are also getting uh, too much. So I'm just going to slightly reduce the magentas just like that. So I feel like the image is now getting really on the cooler side. So in order to, do, to reduce that, I'm just going to come to the photo filter option. And I'm going to come to cooling filter 82. And just come and reduce on the density of uh, the cooling uh, filter. Just around 3. And I think uh, here we are right now. So let me put this the color grading in a group. So that we can see what we have done to this very image. Control Command G. And I'm going to name that color grade. So let's see the before and after for this particular image. So you can see the before and after. Before, after. You can see how beautiful the image has turned out to look uh, with just a few adjustments in Photoshop. So this is how I color grade my images in just Photoshop. And if at all you have loved this tutorial, don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If at all you have been watching from this channel for the very first time, Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in yet another tutorial. And don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating.